Hello everyone, welcome to a circuit tutorial uh, video here, where I'm in my beautiful new uh, setup here, looking pretty nice, got some cool stuff here, and yeah. So today, we are making a tycoon game using buttons, and you click it and it gives you clicks, I guess. So, let's start with our game so first you want to get a table because unless you want the button to float then you need a table make sure it's not grabbable so nobody will grab it and then we're gonna get a button like that make sure this is not on make sure to keep it on if you want junior players to play with it I guess I don't know so then you want to edit the button's text, take out the thing that says push me, so it's just a blank button, or you can just say like click or something, plus one, but I don't think plus one would be a very good idea, because what we're going to do next is we're going to make it so that it will add by the amount that's upgraded at. So we're going to get, we're going to turn on advanced mode for the comparer, and we're going to set it to greater than. So, why are the red pin on the comparer to the red arrow on the button, it should make it so that whenever you press it, it'll output something if there's something here. And you're going to want to get your upgrade level. So let's say our upgrade level is 1. Then we get a uh, com combiner. Combinator? I don't know. Same thing. Boom. Tracks how many clicks you've got. So then, you're gonna want to get another button. Oops, make it a little bit smaller so you can, or if you want to, you don't need to make it a little bit smaller. Just make sure you still have space on your table. Send player signal output. Set it to on, and then you want to set. You gotta type in maybe like upgrade, and then you're gonna want to get a text material, text gadget, so that you can display how much. It costs to upgrade. <laughs> and then you're gonna write message zero, edit it, and type in cost is equal to um, curly bracket R curly bracket so that I can put the cost in the red arrow pin. So we're gonna make it a cool color, I guess. We can make it to. Uh, I don't know, red, maybe blue, red, whatever color you want, just make sure that people can see it, <laughs> and you're going to want to get another com combinator for your upgrade level to determine how much it will cost. So, if you want it to, uh, so you're going to set it to multiply, so there's going to be two pins now instead of three, and you're going to get this upgrade level, this determines how high your upgrade level is, and you get to multiply it, so... How much, it'll, how much the price will go up every time you upgrade it. So let's say you set it to 100 clicks. And costs 100 clicks. Alright, then we're going to get another text gadget here. Text. And then put it right there. Make it a cool color. And then type in curly bracket R curly bracket. You could do that. Or you could just type in clicks. And then let's make it a little bit thin so that people can see it easier if you're gonna make it float and then set this a text variable R to this pin on the combinator here so it should say how many clicks you have so when you get a hundred clicks you can upgrade it but we haven't wired it so that it will take out clicks whenever you upgrade it so what we're going to do is we're going to get a Combinator for the price. We're gonna set it to multiply and we're gonna set this green to negative one. Put this red pin on this multiplier, put it on this multiplier, so it'll get the negative value of the price. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna get another comparer. We're gonna set it to uh, greater than or equal to the first one on the first on the fourth one on the first page. We're gonna turn on advanced mode. 
and we're going to put this red pin right here to the amount of clicks you have and then this green pin to the price and then put the teal pin to the negative value of the price and then go right here and then get a combiner put it like that and then you go boom so this minuses 100 every time you upgrade and you're going to want to put it right onto a new combinator so that it will not break the numbers because that will happen if you do put it on the same combinator so we're going to unwire this put it to a new one and we're going to wire this to this take off the one because we're not going to want that now add the negative value to that so it's just a positive and negative and it should say how much it'll give you so we're going to rewire all of it now all right all of it got rewired and now so it should work once i get enough clicks my mistake what you're going to do is you are going to get another uh comparer and take off the negative 100 put on a new one and do this if it's greater than if it's greater than zero and then put this if signal on the first one put it, set it wire it to the upgrade button right here and then so this should determine whether when the upgrade button is pressed if your if the price if the amount of clicks is higher than or equal to the price then it will send a signal here and it will minus a hundred so that should take off the amount of clicks and we're gonna get a little combiner here and we're gonna put it to this so this this will add to the upgrade level so if I get a hundred clicks all right 105 clicks let's upgrade now we have five clicks and we're level two see adds two clicks every time and if you want to show how what level you are you can add a new line type in level and do curly bracket g curly bracket and wire move it up and wire the g pin to the upgrade level just right here or should be right there wherever you can find your upgrade level pin that's where it is so it shows the cost and the level you're at so when you click it it's gonna be easier to click there's gonna be more clicks to come out every time so fun so what we're gonna want to do is you want to get a save game thing you're gonna need to take up two leaderboard stats in your room if that's fine but if you don't want to add a saving thing, you can click off the video now. You finished it. But if you're here for the long run, you're going to want to make it so you can save your game. You're going to want to get a little button that has the word save game on it. Save game. Oh, I messed it up. And you're going to want to turn on send player signal output so it will determine which player pressed it and it will add to their leaderboard stat and then you're going to want to get two set leaderboard stat chips and you're going to set it to well if you want it to set always if they save the game it will always set the clicks if you set it to set if greater and you and the person clicks it it'll only up it will only update the leaderboard stat if the amount of clicks is higher than the older stat. So if I have 100 clicks on one save and I save it again with 153, it will save it. But if I use the same save and I get 50 clicks on my save with 153, I save it again, it won't update. Set if less is literally the exact same thing, but reversed. So if I update with 153 clicks on a 100 click save, it won't update. But if I use 53 clicks, on a 153 click save it will update and increment which is not recommended at all for this is where you can click it and it'll increment so 
where it'll add. So if you have 153 clicks on one save, and you have 100 clicks on another, you save the game, it'll give you 253 clicks, which is not what we want. So we're gonna set it to set always. So no matter what, when the button is pressed, it will set the save, sta save stat to 153, or whatever click you're at. So, we're gonna get one of them for upgrade level. We're gonna get two of them. Both of them, they're gonna be the both the same, recommended. And you're gonna want set one of the stat channels to one, and another one to two. And then you're gonna get, so, Stat 1 should be for clicks, so then you're going to wire this blue pin to the amount of clicks that you have, 153. And then value for the second one, which is the upgrade level, and we're going to wire it here. Two clicks. And also, we should also get a little sound to indicate people that their game has been saved, and your progress is now safe in our system. So we're going to get a sound. I highly recommend the capture point score and make sure to set the 3d audio because it'll be loud if everyone else hears it and we're gonna wire the red pin to the red arrow on the button so whenever it is clicked so it saves the game every time I click the button it also makes a sound so there it's all saved we're also gonna get another button to load our game <laughs> when it uses the two leaderboard stats so we're going to change it, so instead of saying save, it says load. And we're going to get another button for last, and it's going to be reset. Reset your save. And we're going to put reset save. And we're going to make this warning red, because nobody likes red buttons. Red buttons are usually not good. So, for the load game button, you're going to want to get a get leaderboard stat chip for two of them. One of them for stat channel one, one of them for stat channel two. Make sure that the send player signal output is on. Wire the red pin to that, wire the red pin to this. Then you're gonna wanna get a combinator chip. Wire this blue on the get leaderboard to the combinator. And now, it will add how much you got from your last save. But, you're going to want to make it so that you can only use it once. So we're going to get a comparator. So, if this is equal, or well, if to make it a little bit more, to make it so that it will work more often, set it to greater than. So if the red pin is greater than zero, we're gonna get a state machine. We're gonna wire it all together and make sure that you don't wanna put another pin here because it'll go like this. So we're gonna go with this. We're gonna get a button here. And we're gonna get a advanced mode. And we're going to wire this red to the green on this state machine. We're gonna reset that. So now it will be in this state forever until someone presses the load game button. And then we're gonna get this, and we're gonna get this. So put the red pins to the red pin on the, combina on the comparer. So when someone clicks it, it will load their game. So load game did not work because we didn't make it so that it will add to your stats. Then we're gonna get the upgrade level, so plus two. And then we're gonna get plus your clicks, so 153 clicks, like this. So, if you click a little game, you wire it all correctly, it should not work. If you wanna keep clicking it, upgrade, boom. There. That is that. <laughs> Boom, that is that. And now we're going to do the last button, which is the reset save, which is probably the easiest one of them all. You're going to get two set leaderboard stat chips again. 
one of them for stat channel one and one of them for stat channel two. So make sure you set it, keep the set always. For this, definitely need to set it to set always because it's gonna reset your stat. You're gonna get the player ID, wire it to the red pin on the button, and you're gonna wanna keep this value to zero so that when you click it, boom, all gone, your save stat on your leaderboard chip has been erased. And now you no longer have a save game unless you press the save game again. So that is a simple clicker game using all these circuits. I hope you enjoyed, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, leave it a like, a uh, comment, if you put this in your room, cause it is a very fun game. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all next time in the next video. Bye bye! And we're gonna wanna get another sign gadget, text, put it, oops. Oh, because it's sun. There's sun outside. That's why I'm not tracking. Boom! Blind shut. Oh, let's just drop my food. Alright. Here we go. So, what we're gonna do. We're gonna get two get leaderboard chips. We're gonna get two.